What's going on, everybody? Swagged out, swagged out, and you already know what I'm here, and you already see it. Dressed in all black like the omen, and there's a reason for that because this fragrance I have today showed up dressed in all black, and this is Ange Noir. Ange Noir, and this is not the latest release, but second to latest release from Tomavici. Why? Because they have a new one out right now. It's heading out. To anyone who's pre-ordered, I think this week, next week, um, it is Opalentis Oud, which I'm already dying to smell. But while we get ready for that one, let's catch up on this one right here that I didn't get a chance to speak of previously, but let's get into it. So this is, first and foremost, not as dark as you would presume just by the name of it, Ange Noir, Black Angel. Angel of Death, it kind of sounds like, but realistically, this has a lot of nice, bright touches to it that really make it less noir than you would think. So right here, when you look at um, the notes here, we're going to look at green apple, we're going to look at galbanum, in the mid, you got Bulgarian rose and black violet, and in the base, you get amber, patchouli, cedar, and musk, which make it kind of contrasting, but ultimately fruity, bright. Now, the patchouli here, you would think it was going to add to the darkness of it, make it more noir. Um, the amber here adds a nice sweetness to it. But ultimately, for me, what I get is a lot of that apple in the beginning that stays with the fragrance for a lot of the wear, a blend of that rose that comes in with it. So it gives it a rosy kind of fruity apple opening. And then that patchouli and that amber, they give it a little bit of darkness. But the patchouli ultimately is going to be a little sweeter fruit fruitier leading that amber gives it a nice you know that sweetness that amber brings to fragrances that really takes away from it being too fruity or too rosy and it gives it a nice heft in the base that will last all day and that musk ultimately allows this to be a very fresh fragrance for what you think is going to be when you look at the name um Ange Noir now Tomovici has already made a whole lot of nice fragrances the Zenobia was one that really stole my heart from the first time I smelled it. Uh, I've been raving about that one since it first came out. This one right here is definitely um, keeping up with the tradition of amazing fragrances. And um, now I look forward to Opalentis Oud, which is the next one. And as soon as it gets here, we will be talking about that one. But if you have not tried Ange Noir or any of the Tomovichis, I'm telling you right now, you're not doing yourself any favors. And if you're waiting for your favorite reviewer to make it a hype beast before you try it, don't be the person who's left behind or finding these bottles at $600 on eBay because you waited too late. They're available now. You can get them before they become the hype beast that people create once little th things are no longer accessible. Ansel Noir is definitely one of the ones you want to check out. Also, check out Zenobia. And if you love oud fragrances like I do, and <laughs> I'm ready blind buying um, fragrances, Opalentis Oud is another one that you want to take out. Now, I don't suggest you blind buy. If you don't, I'm going to get it. I'll review it. I'll let you know what my thoughts are. But all that aside, check out Ange Noir. Great apple, rosy, um, ambery, patchouli fragrance with a nice musk that makes this wearable for all occasions. Any season, great performance. It's everything you want in a very, very beautiful bottle. Shout out one more time to... Um, the house from a week as a whole because they keep on making these great fragrances and every time they release another one i truly feel like it elevates and takes a brand to a different place that's all i have for you folks short simple sweet to the point if you enjoyed this uh review let me get a thumbs up if you check this channel out and you're not subscribed yet you should subscribe and if you want to add any comments give your own opinion about the fragrance ask any questions or come in here and tell me why your review could be better. I'm down for that too. That's all I have for you for real this time. It's fragged out, swagged out, and we out.